girl I just caught a flight from Atlanta Hopped on a jet to LA On the fade away I'm always stressing about my time Yo, Shout Young Ryu, what's good, bro? Tom Bomb, bro. Thank you for having me, dog. Appreciate yeah. it, bro. How Young you doing Ryu, today? Welcome to the podcast, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Much love. Yeah, no doubt. Um, It's an honor to have you on here, bro. If you First thing you want to do is just let everyone uh know where you're from and uh, how it was growing up where you're at. What's up, guys? I've been bouncing around. Started this journey out in Indiana. Moved around a little bit from there, residing out in the ATL right now. Um, so yeah, young Ryu going up 2023. Been putting music out for about a year now and keeping it going from here. We're keeping it pushing. Yeah, no doubt. I discovered you uh from your song The Code. Uh that shit's dope. Mm. Uh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, um, I really like that song and everything you've been doing so far, especially this year, you have over, over seven songs out so far. Um, when, when did you start making music? Like overall, like when, when was the first time? Bro, you started- probably like three years ago and then never really took anything too seriously. And then um, started about a year ago, going full force with it grinding about every day with it from there i actually it's funny you say that i got seven songs right now i had a big ass catalog out bro looking at about 70 songs and i actually took them all down just because i ended up getting a new mic and all that shit so i was just uh trying to progress the new sound from here so it's funny you caught the code at a good time bro that's right when i got that new mic yeah, that's dope. It's it's clear that your work ethics ethics there. Um, what yeah. what's your process that you're going through right now to pump all these songs out? Like, wh- where Bro, are you doing this? How how uh, are you pumping them out? I'm pumping out this shit independently, bro. Doing this shit from me. Um, I record in my fucking bedroom right here, my friend. Um, yeah, where I'm fine. staying at right now, I get in the stool here every day. Try to make a song a day. That's my goal. So generally cook up a beat in the morning, hit the stew in the afternoon before I go into work, work full time on top of that. So I just be grinding, bro. Yeah, that's dope, bro. That shows a lot of commitment and it shows in like the quality of your songs. Um, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's fire. Um, So you said you started, you know, messing around and maybe thinking of dropping like three years ago. When did you get the confidence like in yourself? Because there's a difference, right? Like you're fucking around with your friends or by yourself. That's right. That's and, right. And then I always. What's the difference when you got the confidence to start dropping online? Because once you do that, people can say whatever they want about it. Exactly, and bro, it's brought the good and bad. I've seen both already. You know, there's a lot of hate out on the internet. When I was like, I've always been a hip hop listener since I was a kid, bro. Always bumping headphones all day. Um, was pretty big into music throughout my whole life and then bro to be honest I was down and out a couple years bro Uh, my mom had passed I was fucking around off the Zans for quite a while and then I fucking was rapping them but that was just like some bullshit and then I got my life together and then it's like okay we really gotta do this gotta push a more more projected plan Oh, yeah, bro. I'm uh, happy to hear that you got your life together. Um, yeah, also, bro. Also, sorry to hear about your mom. And it's crazy in this in this music industry because the addiction things like, you know, it's, it's yeah, a big thing yeah. And, uh, I know a yeah. lot of artists try to <clears throat> try to use it, you know, for clout and stuff, but also people use it to help other people, too. That's right. That's right. I mean, right now, stick to smoking weed. That's it. Keep on keep on the green. Keep my life in order but you know i get it because through painful times you know you're always looking for something to be there for you and that's life bro everyone wants to feel comforted by something if you aren't getting it from somewhere else bro you're gonna find it somewhere and unfortunately a lot of times it is the drugs and sometimes you think it'll only ah oh, just take this a few times but then it turns into a daily habit you know and keeps progressing from there but luckily had a good girl she was able to get me off them and running with it from here yeah that's dope bro uh shout out to her 
So you said yeah. you, you were the kind of person growing up, you know, always having headphones in your ear. Who yeah. were some of your influences? Bro, when I was a kid, I was listening to Dirk probably in his like trap age, straight the drill music age when he was coming out with like this and what you want and shit. I was big into Dirk throughout my um high school years, listened to a lot of Wiz. I was big on the Khalifa grind there around 14 when he was driving Black Hollywood. And then it's been pretty much everything from there. Get into Juice World. Obviously, when I was going through that tough time, I feel like, I, okay, so you bring me back. This wraps back to the first question when you asked me about the inspiration to start putting music out, bro. I'll tell you right now. It was right when that Juice World documentary dropped, bro. That yeah. that in, that inspired me, bro. Yeah, that documentary was great. And yeah, I'm I'm with you, bro. Uh, how old are you? I'm 26 right now. Okay, I'm two years older than you, so yeah, I'm kind of on the same wave, like, um, the the old whiskey, yeah, we, uh, the mixtape. Exactly. Waves. There was so, so much music through there. Like, I gotta say, T Pain was in the era back yeah, there. Yeah. That's where I get heavy auto tune in. A lot of Mac from. Miller too during those days. Yeah, Mac was killing it, bro. The whole Donald Trump area through there. He was fucking pushing, bro. Yeah, and then, like, to watch Juice World's whole career, like, being kind of, like, near his age and watching how short it was. Yeah, rest you know in I mean? peace, bro. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up, but his... Shit's his, crazy. It really goes to show you what actual pills can do mm -hmm. and what depression can do in a general. Because lucky for me, I was able to get out of that. I spent about a year being pretty low in my life. A year and a half there where it was pretty down, but luckily some blessings started to come in. And I think a lot of that was uh, due to music, bro. It gave me a drive once I started pushing shit out there and give me something to work for in life. And I'm not just uh, going through on a steady, steady uh, decline. Yeah, that's dope, bro. Always great to hear uh, someone get their life together. The next thing I, the next thing I want to ask you, I always ask everyone this, no matter... Um, how famous they are, or, you know, how underground they are. Um, mm -hmm. wh who's your three dream features, dead or alive? I got to put number one up there with Yeet, bro. Who? He be Yeet. Oh, yeah, that's dope. He be doing it right now. He's one of my main, I like his influence a lot. He's got going on right now. Um, If I would say someone... Probably, I don't know, bro. Like, I like to look with work with anyone. That's the thing. I just like to make music, so I can't say, like, these three people. I'd have to put Drake in that conversation. He's the biggest artist in the world, bro. He's got to be in there. But as far as that goes, I have such a, like, a wide taste of music where there could be, like, so many other artists, bro. Like, Give us, give was, us one more. You gave us Yeet and Drake. Trippy. Trippy Red? Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, I was listening to him a lot through, like, my high school years around that 15, 16 time. Yeah, his album, Life a Trip, I think that's the best one. Yeah, he's been killing it for a long time, bro. Long time. There's a lot yeah. of good music coming out nowadays, so it's hard to say, like, who's the best? Been listening to a lot of Dom Corleo lately, so... Yeah, I like how your, uh, your music spectrum's, like, you know, goes up and down, like, it's a whole bunch of different people. Well, I like auto-tune, I like beats, but then it goes to a perception. If I want something a little more lyrical, I'm going to have to go with more on, like, the Drake side of things if I'm putting out a good song like that. Yeah, hell yeah. So right now you're fully independent. Um, Like you uh -huh. said, you're pushing everything out yourself. Um, yep. What do you think you need most? Like, if there was one thing you need most to to take your career to the next level, like... Do you, do you think it's, like, promotion, a label, like, finances? Like, what do you think you need most? Money always helps out. Yeah. I'm sitting on a decent sum right now, so I'm doing okay pushing it independently. But obviously, if you're trying to start big promoting, that's when big checks come in. Yeah, so you, you would say it's what? I think, yeah, probably, I would say probably getting signed to a label because they – I mean, I got a strong work ethic. I believe in myself that way. I'm not going to get lazy with shit. I've been 
grinding on a lot of things since a kid. So it's been that way for me. So I believe in myself. Um, so I would say if I got those connections, one, because that comes with the label, and two, money. So yeah, and get, think, get about a two and one offer there. Yeah, and I think also the label, you have the machine pushing your shit. Exactly. I think like there's it's... always a thing because you're stuck in a deal, but at the same time, I think if you're not lazy in that deal, um, you could get a lot done. They're hooking you up with top top producers, engineers, so you're going to be um, doing okay, I feel like, in that aspect. Yeah, and I think... Well, pe some people don't understand independent artists. It's like compared to the label, like they can put your face in places where you can't. You know exactly, what I mean? Like, bro. You, they can get you on the academic pages. They can get you on, on the rap pages. They can get you all anywhere they want to put you. Like I could be honest here, you could do all this shit yourself and act like you're gonna be better off doing it yourself. But at the same time, the music industry is what it is. And it's been that way for a reason. So I feel there's a better push through them myself, because like you said, independently, I don't always get set up in the positions or maybe even in a sense, know about the positions to put myself in those good promo spots like you uh, say. Yeah, for sure. Um, where do you think um, where do you see your career, let's say one year from today? hope to be doing music full time i gotta say hopefully i can leave the job by then yeah and i don't know where i'll be stationed at because i do like a little bit of everything on the west coast and the east coast i like a little bit of both um and my girlfriend's also down in chile so i spent a year down in south america so i just be bouncing around but obviously if uh bigger uh, label came into play i'd have to pick more permanent spot uh, looking probably atl or la yeah definitely um so w what can your fans or anyone that's going to check this out um what can they expect from you coming forward like do you got an album coming like what's bro, coming in the next few months you can expect songs every week bro and that's not just me saying that this past week, last night, I just dropped two new songs, Forever and Around the World. Um, coming tonight, I got another song dropping, um, Doing Me. So, yeah, I just be pushing out music. I don't like to sit on my music. So if you're a fan of mine, um, you're going to get a lot of music pretty frequently. Um, I'm the type of guy I'm pretty competitive with myself. So once I make something that's on to the next, then I'm going to go ahead and put that out. Yeah, that's um, dope. That that's what I liked about you too, because even in the time where you know we got in contact with each other, from now there there was multiple songs that came out. I like to work, bro. I like to work. Yeah, that's dope. I think a, a fan base can really appreciate that too. Mm -hmm. Um, so let everyone know where we can find your music. Like if you could spell out your social medias for people, just, um, most definitely you can find me on all platforms at young Y U N G space R Y U U young Ryu on all platforms beyond TikTok. The only one I'm not really uh, posting on is Facebook. I don't know if anyone still uses Facebook anymore. Find yeah, me on I Twitter. Think, I don't think the music goers are looking for Facebook. Exactly, exactly. TikTok, Instagram, all of the above. Find me on all platforms streaming music at Young Ryu. Yeah, th that's dope, bro. I really want to thank you for coming on. And, and like I said, uh, ever since I discovered your music, and I, this can go for people that's going to see this, there's been way more songs even in like the week or two we've been talking that's right that's always right put out good quality stuff and uh if there's Thank anything you, else if there's anything else you want to say um before we get off here the mic's yours shout out the motherfucking tom bomb podcast thank you for having me peace out bro